Now, dissociative symptoms are experienced as unbidden intrusions, um, which are known as positive dissociative symptoms, such as derealization, uh, depersonalization. Uh, derealization, depersonalization means that the individual feels unreal about him or herself, and he or she, uh, as an extension of it, also feels that the world is unreal. Um, as if you are in a very fantasy state or you are in a dreamlike state, um, ye ek inko positive dissociative symptoms kaha jata hai. Um, on the contrary, there is also another set of symptoms jisme the person shows inability to access uh, information uh, and they, these are known as negative dissociative symptoms such as amnesia means memory loss. So, jahan pe loss ho hai, that is actually negative symptoms and where there is addition that the person is unable to, that doesn't happen in reality, uh, normal life hai, lekin other than that, wo individual apne aap ko unreal mehsus kar raha hai, dream like state mein feel kar raha hai, aur usko dunia bhi um, unreal mehsus ho rahi hai, those are known as unbidden intrusions and positive symptoms of dissociative disorder. Uh, dissociative disorders are frequently found as aftermath of trauma. That's most probably is the reason that inko ab uh, anxiety disorder me se nikal ke now they have been considered in DSM-5 in trauma related disorders. So mainly ye dekha gaya hai ke identity disorder or memory disorder or other dissociative disorders are actually after the trauma. So soon after trauma, they are associated with some traumatic uh, symptoms or traumatic event. Many of the symptoms, including embarrassment uh, or a desire to hide themselves, are influenced by proximity of trauma. Ke kuch symptoms ka cluster aisa hai ke aapko pata chal raha hota hai. Let's say somebody met in car accident. Uh, somebody has see, witnessed some trauma, um, like be, people being killed in front of them or somebody has seen terror attack happening in front of him or her uh, or has survived that. So, um, proximity mean after subsequent to that, the person may lose memory or may lose, have different identity. So, actually, this is kind of a trying to dissociate uh, that incident or that event from the memory kyunki uska jo yaad aana hai ya uski jo um, bar bar uh, zehen mein aana hai wo individual ke liye distressing hota hai um, there are different types of dissociative disorder uh, first one is dissociated identity disorder previously known as multiple personality disorder so um, dissociative identity disorder means that the individual may have multiple personalities और वो personalities जो हैं इसकी detail हमें आगे जाके देखेंगे हम कि वो उसका मतलब क्या है uh, लेकिन previously it was known as multiple personality disorder now it is dissociative identity disorder the second type of dissociative disorder is dissociative amnesia uh, means that memory disruption in memory uh, then the third type of dissociative disorder is depersonalization and realization disorder Depersonalization, where the individual him or herself feels to be unreal, um, as if he or she is witnessing herself um, as an alien and the person him feels that he or she is not the real self. Derealization um, means that it's expansion of depersonalization, that in addition to looking him or herself as unreal, usko dunya bhi unreal lag rahi hoti hai, dusri ird -gird ki cheezen bhi unreal lag rahi hoti hai. Then there are other specified dissociative disorder and then there, there are unspecified dissociative disorder. So in Saron ki detailed diagnostic criteria or iski symptomatology uh, we will see in a while.